I'm Megan for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Generative AI is transforming software development with tools that automate tasks, foster collaboration, and spark innovation. It empowers developers with products to maximize generative AI's potential, both in streamlining their work and building their own AI-powered applications. Gemini Code Assist, the evolution of Duet AI for developers, supercharges your development process while improving code quality and security. With new additions rolling out in Gemini Code Assist, you can now get full code base awareness, code customization, integration services, new partnerships, and more. Check out the post to learn all about the new addition in Gemini Code Assist. Google's Season of Docs provides support for open source projects to improve their documentation and gives professional technical writers an opportunity to gain experience in open source. And this year, 11 organizations will be participating. Organizations and the technical writers they hire will work on documentation projects from now until November 22nd. Check out the post for all the details and to learn how to participate. The TensorFlow team is excited to announce that XNN Pack's fully connected and convolution 2D operators now support dynamic range quantization. XNN Pack is TensorFlow Lite's CPU backend, and CPUs deliver the widest reach for ML inference and remain the default target for TensorFlow Lite. We quadrupled inference performance in TensorFlow Lite's XNN Pack backend, compared to the single precision baseline by adding support for dynamic range quantization to the fully connected and convolution operators. This means that more AI-powered features may be deployed to older and lower tier devices. Learn all about XNN Pack in the post. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Megan for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.